many of us are fascinated for the beauty and power of the biggest mountains in this world. But only a few dare to take the challenge to summit them. This is the story of one mountaineer that did. Her name was Christine Boscoff. She is the most celebrated female American mountaineer of all time. She summited more 8,000 meter peaks than any other American woman, and it's a record that still stands today. The thing that really intrigues me about climbing is not only the venture of the excitement and the danger of, of climbing, but, but it's also uh, going into a different land and seeing the people was very humble. Some people seek the spotlight and some people don't, and she really did not. So I think that's why all these years later, people still don't know who she is. A uh, role model, I guess you could say. She did what she could to encourage people to get out there and have their own adventure. A lot of people, you know, they look at me and they, they're like, you're crazy, I would never go up there, you know, it's dangerous. The physical and mental challenge of the sport, of, of trying to push yourself as far as you can go. There's a physical element, there's a mental element, there's an intellectual element. At the end, I think that she kind of climbed for the right reasons. A lot of the book kind of focuses on that, but then there's also a big focus on the mystery and the disappearance. Chris and Charlie went to an unexplored area in western Sichuan province in China and disappeared. Rescuers in China's Sichuan province have said that they have located the body of one of two American mountain climbers. She really didn't want to be defined by her gender, and she really just stuck to this thing that she loved. All of us can find that thing we're passionate about in life, no matter what that is. There's no question that Christine will always be a big part of the climbing and the mountaineer community. She even have a big connection right here in the Northwest. By joining the family of Mountain Madness in West Seattle. She was aware of the company and, and what it was all about. She bought the company in 97 and, and it's kind of all history from there. This book will hopefully bring a light to what she accomplished because at the end of the day, uh, her accomplishments as a female climber are amazing. The edge of the map is inspiring, dramatic, and heartbreaking all in one. Oh, thanks, Jose.